What? Nothing. It's just... Is this your car? No. I belong to a car club. Why? It's just this particular car brings up a lot of memories for me. Like what? For starters, it's the first car I ever drove. Is that a good memory or a bad one? Not great. You want me to take it back? I know this trip's important to you. It'll only take an hour. I appreciate the offer, Harvey, but I just want to get on the road. Well, let's go. I didn't mean to do it. I just threw it over your head, you saw? I know, Adam, it wasn't your fault. What are we gonna do? We're gonna tell him I did it. S Samantha. Adam, he must have heard it. He's gonna be down here in about two seconds. Do what I say, okay? Which one of you did this? I did. My new car. My new fucking car! <sighs> Get in the house. I did it. What did you just say? It wasn't her, it was me. And it was an accident. Get inside. But... Now! No. You want to hit someone? Hit me. I'm the one who lied about it. Get the hell inside, then. And you? If I ever see you near this car again, you're going to wish you'd never been born. Living with you? Bet he already does. You don't think I know what you're doing? Well, I got news for you. You're not always going to be around to protect him. What's that supposed to mean? I was going to save it so you wouldn't cause any more trouble. But you're being reassigned next week. Now get inside before I give him what's coming to him. Ready? Yeah, let's go. What were the other memories? What? You were saying this car brings back a lot of memories. Just wondering what those memories were. Let's just say you're not the only one who belongs to that car club. What are you talking about? Caldor. He used to drive this car all the time. Thought he was so cool. Why didn't you tell me that? Now I want to take it back. <laughs> I don't want to look anything like that douche. Don't worry, Harvey. You do make it look cool. Besides, I never actually got to ride in it. I always wanted to. Hey, Adam, wake up. What? What is this? Shh, 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 okay. We're getting away from here. And we're getting away from him. What? What are you talking about? We can't just run away. We won't be running. We'll be driving. You took his keys? He's passed out downstairs. We'll be miles away before he even knows what happened. Samantha, we can't just steal his car. Where are we gonna go? You see this? It's coming your way, and the longer we spend talking about this, the more time we lose. It's now or never. So grab a bag and let's go. So you just stole the car? Yeah. We would have gotten away with it if we hadn't been pulled over. What, you woke up and called the cows? No, we got pulled over for the goddamn broken taillight. Oh, jeez. Could have been worse. I ended up with a new family, and neither of us had to go back to Ron. What happened to the little boy? I don't know. You know how it is. No, I don't. And I'm really sorry that you do. Well, I have plenty of other stories for another time. Another time? Why not right now? Because I don't love talking about my childhood. I can't believe I even told you this story. I'm glad you did. I never actually knew there was a caring side to you, Eric. <laughs> yeah, it's there. You just have to get to know me a little bit. Truth be told, as much as uh, we've gotten to know each other on this case, I really wouldn't mind getting to know you better. How about you just concentrate on getting to know those files? I'll do my best, but uh, I'm having trouble concentrating on anything right about now. OK, I think it's time we talk about the elephant in the room. You mean you getting fired because of me? I mean why I fabricated that evidence in the first place. I know why you did it. Can't stand to lose. Well, if you know that, and you're always saying how much alike we are, I don't understand why you got so mad at me. Because I told Mike we wouldn't cross any lines. 
And I know you didn't make that promise. And I know our client wasn't breaking any laws with the way they treated those workers. It's just... What? Mike's always on me about doing the right thing. Now he's out there walking the walk. And the least I owe him is think about right and wrong once in a while. You really admire him, don't you? I don't just admire him, Samantha. He went to prison for me. Talk about somebody who's got your back. I get it. I'm sorry. It's just, when I went to see him, he called me second fiddle. After that, all I could see was red. I shouldn't have fabricated that evidence. If I could go back and do it all over again, I would. OK, then. So we're good? We're good. Jeff Gardner? Yeah. My name is Samantha Wheeler. I'm your daughter. Samantha, my name is Judy O'Brien. Please, have a seat. Let me guess, you're here to reassign us. I don't work for protective services. I'm a foster parent, and I promise, if you come stay with me, you'll be glad you did. Why would you want a kid like me, who just stole a car and kidnapped another kid? Because there's always a reason. Tell me why you ran away. No. This is a trap. I'm not falling for it. Listen to me. I've seen kids like you. Half of them make it, and half of them don't. But the ones that don't, didn't trust anyone. This is your chance, Samantha. Please take it. So, how'd it go? He never even knew I existed. How was that possible? It was a fling. He and my mother knew each other for all of a few months. She left the state, never even told him she was pregnant. How did he react to the news that he had a daughter? He said he doesn't know what he would have done at the time, but he wishes he would have known. And your mom? Evidently, she was strong-willed, didn't take shit from anybody. And for better or worse, she did things her own way. Sure doesn't sound like anybody I know. I guess that means he doesn't know where she is now. She passed away when I was two. That was the last he heard of her. They must have taken me when she died. Which means nobody gave you up at all. No, they didn't. But I still have all of this anger inside of me and nowhere to put it. Maybe you don't have to put it anywhere. Maybe you can just let it go. Would you have been able to do that? Uh, in my situation, I didn't think I could until I did. <laughs> 